welcome to our PGA Tour coverage here on 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Travellers' Championship is about to begin. We're back at Cromwell, Connecticut for the TPC River Highlands course. Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. And Beamer, take us through the opener. Uh, par four down the hill with the tee shot and second shot will go back up the hill. There's really not much out there. To be fair, Luke, it's a fairly bland opening hole. There is some pretty heavy-duty rough on the right and left that you really don't want any part of. If you want to take driver, you can hit it way down there in the flat and just have a very simple pitch shot up the hill for your second. But I think most players will lay it back, find the fairway, find the green. If you get a birdie, great. No harm in making four. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. Starting the round at even par. Time to tee off at the second. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Still a chance to attack this hole from the first cut. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Well hold. Let's move on. And this effort by Justin Thomas. John, have you got a read on this one? This looks like around 29 feet. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. A three-time victor already this season. Going with the 9-iron, I think. This one is chewing fibre. This one's for birdie. And that should secure the par. Well done. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. He finds himself in a share of 10th place. The fourth hole at TPC River Highland certainly asks for a longer shot, Rich. Danger here is leaving your tee shot out to the right in the trees and the bunker. If you hit it down the left-hand side, expect a much longer second shot. And now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. Well, I'm watching Sergio Garcia set up his next shot here on the seventh. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Let's return to live play now. I don't know about you, Rich, and I know he has his faults, but I really like Sergio Garcia, especially when he's on. He plays the game with such passion, and you know how much it means to him at any given time. Yes, he has had some temper issues in the past, but listen, he wears his heart on his sleeve, and I couldn't see him playing golf any other way. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Oh, that's a mistake. Tough to leave that short. Downhill putt, and certainly was robbed on that effort. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Now three strokes back after that hole. Par threes are always fun. See if you can knock it close. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Yeah, well played. Well, an important part here in terms of the tournament. A chance to move inside the top ten. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. Time to tee off at the sixth. Oh, 
Well, this should be unpredictable. Don't know what you're going to get from the golfing gods here. Well, there's uh, action of plenty all over the course. Let's have a look at this highlight from another player. This is fourth. Well, Rich, I'm being honest, this lie is putrid. Hitting it over here in the first place was just awful. I would blame his caddy. Might get caught up in the brush here. Oh, clever play that. Just get it back into the fairway. Sitting at one under. Trying to crack into the top ten. The interesting choice of the driver here. Time now for the fourth shot. Three strokes off the lead. This putt is 16 feet to the hole. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. He finds himself in a share of 11th. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Teeing off here at the seventh. Good looking shot, this. Here's some action from just a moment ago. Justin Thomas with a great shot here. Interested to take a look at this approach shot. Sitting at one under the card, just outside the top ten on the leaderboard. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Ooh. Three feet to go here to the hole. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. Well hold. Trailing by four strokes. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Looks like they've got the five wood. We need this one to bounce right. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. 16 feet to the hole. And that will drop in for birdie. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. Some lovely momentum for this player. Moving up the leaderboard. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. That's not what he had hoped for, I'm pretty sure of that. And John, what's this one looking like? Well, they should be able to deal with this, I think. It's ended up sitting pretty good here in the sand. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Oh, what a great stroke. And this part to move into a tie for third. Oh, so close. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And after this hole, that's how it looks. Currently two under for the event. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Lining up 
from around 160 yards. Currently four shots off the pace. Needs this one to kick right. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. A fair bit on the line here. Spot the top five. And down she goes from outside the range. And with that, we'll move to three under par. John, what's going on out there? Well, I'm on the 13th hole now, and this is Sergio Garcia's next shot. A chance now from the bunker for an up and down. Oh, what a shot. Mark it down as an eagle. Oh, a messy little eye in the bunker, but that is not a problem for this player. Yes, in the hole. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. You've reached the 11th hole, and the tee is yours. Good birdie on the last. What's in store now? Going with the eight iron here. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. Butting for birdie. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And that should secure the par. Well done. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. He finds himself currently tied for fifth. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. Time to make a move. The tee is yours here at the 12th hole. Just let that shot be ward off a duck's back. And this effort by Justin Thomas. A few shots under par at the moment. Time for fifth. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Well, let's see how this shot goes from the fairway bunker. Getting ready to play their third. Two strokes off the lead. Come on, let's make this putt. It's for a share of fourth on the leaderboard. I like that kind of fight. That shows resilience. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee. Great recovery. Just two shots back after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. That should find the fairway. Going with a three wood here. Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. Oh, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. So close to the eagle. Second spot on the leaderboard, or at least a share of it, if you can hold this. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And with that, he'll move to four under par. He's currently tied for second. I tell you what, inching closer to that top spot on the leaderboard, things are definitely heating up. Wow, that was just striped. Let's head over to the 15th hole, shall we? And here we are with the third shot. Oh, almost went in. Chosen the pitching wedge here. That's a wonderful shot here at the 14th and sets up a chance for birdie. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Currently five under for the round. 
Well, Rich, as we approach the closing holes here at TPC River Highlands, there are some significant shots to hit, and here at 15, it's certainly one of them. The tee shot is most definitely an important shot. If you hit a little bit too far left, water scary close to the left-hand side. Out to the right is no good. Length isn't nearly as important as how straight you can drive it. All in all, a very exciting short par four. Love this hole. Didn't that look good for a long time? And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. The putt drops, now at five under, heading down the stretch. Hang on to your hat, folks. We're on for a wild ride. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. The final par three at TPC River Highlands certainly brings a lot of elements into play. Multiple tiers on this green. If you find the right tier, you have a good Bernie opportunity. But if you hit a wayward shot, both right, left, long, or let's face it, short, you're in a bad spot. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Looks like 26 feet from down here, guys. Ouch, that hurts. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Let's take a look at Justin Thomas from earlier. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Well, this lake that is a real feature here in the closing holes of TPC River Highlands comes into play also off the tee at 17. The most intimidating shot on the golf course, the tee shot here at 17. Bail left, you could find the bunkers. And if you bail right, you better bring your waders. Oh, check this out, showing us how it's done from the sand. Well, Rich, this won't come as a big surprise, will it? Because there's a lot of people talking about this player. They've been performing beautifully all season. And many think they can win this event. It's never a surprise when you speak this player's name. They've been so good all year long. They've got to be one of the favorites, not only for this tournament, but for also for the season-long FedEx Cup. The chance to move to six under the card with this putt. That was a gallant attempt. And that should secure the par. Well done. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. He's currently just in second place. The finishing hole at TPC River Highlands has gone through a few adjustments over the last handful of years, and it's also seen a very significant moment in the history of the PGA Tour. Plenty of fantastic moments here. Tee shot goes back up the hill, over a rise. Semi-blind tee shot, find the fairway, and you're going to have an excellent look at the green and a possibility of making birdie. It was the site of the lowest ever round recorded on the PGA Tour, a 58, if you don't mind. Well, this is an important putt for the tournament here, Rich. Certainly is. Let's watch it unfold, Luke. It's been the site of so many famous victories throughout the course of at least the last decade, and this one will go down as yet another. Congratulations to our Travelers Championship winner. Yes, battled hard throughout the week, and at the end of the day, just gutted it out better than anybody else. What a finish. Happy for him. Congratulations. Well-deserved win. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam. And on behalf of all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now.
Sports in association with the PGA Tour. FedEx St. Jude Invitational is about to begin. Hi, I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beeman. We're in the hometown of Elvis. It's where the King resided, Memphis, Tennessee. And we're at TPC Southwind. Now, this is one of the most underrated courses on tour, Rich, but they're now playing for a WGC title. Well, the name says it all, Southwind. The wind blows out of the south here every single day. And it doesn't come in gently or mildly. It comes in fiercely. And when this wind really kicks up, especially in the hot conditions of summertime, this makes for a very long and challenging day. The greens are small, they can get firm, they can get fast. So finding more than 14 greens a day out here is excellent golfing. All in all, this is one of the more challenging golf courses, more underrated golf courses these players play all year long in the PJ Tour. Just like the legendary Elvis, you've got to be ready to rock and roll. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, it's all promising to be a good day. Can't wait to see what happens. Nicely done from close range. Second shot on the second. Choosing the nine iron here. Pretty good shot there. Oh, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? It's looking like about 23 feet to the cup. Ooh, right by the hole. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. So, no movement on the leaderboard there, remaining at even overall. The third hole at TPC Southwinds, a strong par five measuring over 550 yards from the back tees. A bit of water comes into play here on the second shot, so be mindful of where you leave your approach. That one's heading down Broadway. Playing this shot from about 210 yards out. Wind's blowing from left to right. We're gonna try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. Four left. Getting ready to play their third. Nice recovery there. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Currently one under for the tournament. fourth hole here at TPC Southwind is the first par three on the course and it measures just under 200 yards just avoid the penalty area to the left mm, I don't think you plan for that this would be a momentum saver here getting this up and down oh great shot holes out for a birdie and that'll promote a good move up the standings what an amazing shot Let's take another look at that one. John, you're down there. What's happening? Well, guys, I'm down on the fifth, and this is Patrick Canley's next shot. Sitting at one over. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. The fifth at TPC Southwind is a long par four measuring 485 yards. It requires a good strong drive to avoid the bunker on the left and then an accurate approach into this green. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Four victories so far this season. Mm. 
Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. This is his third. And let's catch this action from just a moment ago. Billy Horschel's playing some beautiful golf, sitting at two under par in a share of the lead. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. Just a simple tap in for par on this one. He finds himself in a share of the lead. The strategy at the sixth here at TPC Southwind on this par four, measuring just under 450 yards from the tips, is to position your drive from the tee to give a clear shot into this green. From around 120 yards here. Straight down wind, tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. This putt is from 14 feet. This one's tracking. Yeah, we'll take that. And that will take him to three under. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. The seventh at TPC Southwind is a strong par four measuring 482 yards from the back tee. A big clump of trees on the left and the one on the right is to be avoided off the tee. Also, a good angle to attack this green is from the left half of this fairway with a huge greenside tree that also affects any poor approaches. Why don't we recap what Patrick Cantlay did just moments ago? Yes, it's in. Okay, let's get back to the action. Second shot here on the seventh. Going with the five wood. Yeah, that one will play. A chance to move deeper under the card. This putts for four under. Just didn't drop. This is a par putt. Oh, what a stroke. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. He's currently in a share of top spot. The eighth hole at TPC Southwind is a really nice short par three measuring just 164 yards. This green has been recently contoured, so accuracy or distance control off the tee is paramount. This one needs to kick left. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Oh, just missed. And this putt coming up for his par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Johnny Mack, what's the news? Down here on the ninth, this is Billy Horschel. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. The finishing hole on the front nine here at TPC Southwind plays downhill towards a dogleg right. There's a big body of water, the short front left of this green. So make sure you've got enough club to reach the surface. Opting for the 9-iron. 
Oh, that was pure. Trying to get it to four under with this putt. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Yeah, not much to sweat there. Tied at the top, Rich, with the back nine here left today. Yeah, exciting position, isn't it? You'd rather have the lead on your own, but listen, tie for the lead, pretty good spot to be in. They're going to have to work to earn this victory. Well, this should be unpredictable. How much did the win last week give them the confidence to perhaps pull it off again here and go back to back? A massive win last week, looking to double up again this week. I got to say, they're building off all the good things they did last week. A win could definitely happen. Opting for the five iron. Good option. Take your medicine and try and get it up and down from there. John, do you have any info down there? Well, I'm down here on the 11th as Patrick Cantley lines up his next shot. Oh, Rich, how good is that? That's incredible. Oh, gotta love it. Chipping in for birdie. Nothing better. Sitting at minus three. Currently tied for top spot. And here we are with their four. Big time play that one at the right time too. Saving one there after being all over the parking lot, chipping in for the par. Oh, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. Currently at minus three for the event. The par 311th at TPC Southwind measures just 162 yards, but looks can be deceiving here. While it looks pretty, it can bite you. Make sure you've got enough club here on approach. Now, yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. Good mid-range putt this one, a 16-footer. This one's online. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And that will take him to four under. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, this is Billy Horschel's next shot. He's on the 12th hole. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Justin Thomas is atop the leaderboard. He's got a one-shot buffer. The par four 12th is only a short one, measuring 406 yards from the tips. But you need to be very accurate off the tee. Avoid that huge water hazard to the right, and that'll give you the best angle into this green. Any drive that's pushed left will make it a difficult approach, and be wary. There's water over the back of this green, which you can't see. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. This putt is about eight feet. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top ten all day long because of it. And this next putt, it's for bogey. And Justin Thomas currently leads the field. The par 4 13th at TPC Southwind plays uphill and 472 yards. Dustin Johnson once hit a drive here, 375 yards, which left just a flick wedge in. It set up a victory. Have you got the power in the tank? That's what it's required to make a birdie. From around 180 yards out. 
Pretty good win back into the player's face. Man, approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. That's a solid part. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Well, I'm over on the 16th hole. This is Tony Finau's next shot. This line doesn't look too tough, just in the first cut, up by the green. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Justin Thomas is our current leader. The 14th at TPC Southwind is one of their signature holes. The par three that plays downhill considerably long, around 240 yards, is hit over a big body of water to the right. Fortune favours the brave here. If you need a birdie, go flag hunting. Otherwise, lay up to around 20 feet left. Let's see if you can make this and keep the par on the card. Good putt, that. And JT is currently our leader. Accuracy is required at the par 4 15th, just 395 yards off the tee. Players like to lay back to give them their right number into this green. And there's a little creek that meanders through the centre of the fairway here and up to the right side of the green. So make sure your approach is accurate. And now we go to the 16th, where this happened just a moment ago. This is a superb shot from Patrick Cantlay. Playing from 110 yards out. Four strokes off the lead. Going with the pitching wedge here. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. 11 feet to the cup. Okay, steady now. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Just three shots off the lead as we head down the stretch. And they're going to have to chase down that leader. Justin Thomas has built a two-stroke advantage over the field. The 16th at TPC Southwind is the last genuine birdie hole on the course. It's a par five measuring just 530 yards, but there's a lot required on the tee shot that's played uphill to a ridge. If you can get it up over the rise, a good chance for reaching the green here in two to set up a birdie and even perhaps eagle. But be wary of this green. There's a big bunker short left, and if you find it, it's not an easy up and down. Or maybe even a par can be hard. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Justin Thomas is at the top of the leaderboard with a one-shot lead. The penultimate hole at TPC Southwind is a very strong par four, measuring 490 yards off the back tees. There is a little creek that runs through the centre of the fairway here, but that only catches the biggest of drives. There's two big trees either side that you want to position yourself in the middle of, so then you can hit a clean shot to the green. Two strong shots required to get onto the surface, and even once you're on the green, par isn't assured. Let's head over to the 18th hole, shall we? This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Ooh, that almost went down. And back to the course with the live action. 
And all the great players make a bunch of these. This is from 15 feet. Always rooting for this player, Luke. I hope this one goes. Oh, that's frustrating. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. A good stroke. And in it goes for the par. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The finishing hole at TPC Southwind is an absolute beauty. There's been some heroic moments like hole-out eagles, and there's been triple bogeys that have cost championships. Your job is to get the ball safely into the fairway here. If you're not a long driver, don't take on the corner. But if you can, it'll leave you just a short iron in, a chance to seal the victory with a birdie. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? This putt is for a score of 65. And with that, this player will win the event. They ended up tied for first, but after a countback, they came out on top. Congratulations to them. Absolutely. What a performance all week long. Hung tough. Love watching that guy play. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Hello everyone, delighted to have your company here on 2K Sports for our PGA Tour action. We're at the John Deere Classic. Today's coverage is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth. And Rich, I'm ready to get stuck into it, so let's go right into this opening hole. Par 4, 391 yards from the back. And grip it and rip it, tee it high, let it fly, whatever you want to say. Take driver out and hit it as far down there as you can. Get it over the hill. It opens up the second shot where you'll have just a short little wedge in for your second. I got to say, an opening par four that's just begging to be made three on. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. Good-looking putt. 
will hold. He's in a share of 15th. Here we are at the second tee. Par five, 551 yards long. You want to cut the corner as much as possible to shorten your second shot on this par five. Should you do that, a very straightforward second shot will set up birdies and eagles all day long. Find the trouble off the tee, and you'll find trouble on the rest of the hole. Don't fool yourself. Oh, the fried egg, that's ugly. Any chance of getting out of this bunker? And that ball really dug into this bunker. It's, uh, she's deep, boys, she's deep. They're lining up the birdie putt here. Gets it to go down. Wow, what a save. Not a way to grind it out in the bunker, but up and down for the birdie. Nicely done. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Par three, 183 yards up the hill. Blind tee shot. The big miss here is short right in that deep bunker. Should you find that bunker, you're also going to find yourself making bogey or worse. Anywhere on the green is a good shot. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Well, I'm down here following Cameron Champ. We're on the 12th hole now. That one had eyes for it the whole way. And he dances his way into the top 10 after that delightful shot. Let's get back to it, shall we? Just 10 feet to the cup here. It's tracking. Well, nicely done. Holds the punt for back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Par four, 448 yards, sweeping dog leg left to right, big tree in the middle, missed that, and you've got a simple second shot into a sliver of a green. Sitting at two under, tied for fourth. Wow, what a shot. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau's effort. This putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Let's return to live play now. A tie for third spot on the leaderboard. Up for grabs if he can hold this. Just a simple tap in for birdie. And with that, we'll move to three under par. And he finds himself in a tie for third. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Par four, only 429 yards. This fairway chases away from the players down the hill. So tee shots will run forever, setting up a second shot that is very simple and straightforward. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. This putt coming up is for birdie. Go on, get in the hole. Oh, that would have been nice to make. And this putt to move them into a tie for second. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. You've arrived at a par four. Par four measures just 361 yards, but only the long players will try and drive this green. The others, lay it up with an iron, wedge it on, hit it close, make your birdie. Getting ready to play their third. Uh, that'll flick a few of the leaves going through there. Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? Well, considering where they ended up, the the lie could have been a lot worse. I think they might be able to, to deal with this, but not too, too much trouble. And here we are with the third shot. One stroke off the lead.
Oh, well played. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. Big pass saver coming up for this fella. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Currently at minus three for the round. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Ooh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. Par three, 224 yards down the hill. It seemingly plays short, but I can promise you it doesn't. Opting for the five wood. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. On the green now, but a bit of work left to do here. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Just three feet to the cup. Unfortunately, a bogey goes on the scorecard there. Here's what Bryson DeChambeau managed just a short time ago. Let's recap this long-range effort. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Par four, just 380 yards, but every single shot plays uphill. Make sure to take plenty of club. Second shot here on the eight. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Trying to get it to move a little bit to the left here. Trying to get two, three under par with this putt. This is a good chance. Well, what a way to bounce back. Nice putt to hold. And that puts him into the top five for the tournament. Just one off the lead after that hole. We've arrived at a par four hole. Par four, 485 yards, the toughest hole on the golf course. Make sure you find the fairway and get your second shot somewhere around the green to give yourself the best chance of making four. Four right. Setting up in the bunker here. Handy out of the bunker there. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Time now to make the turn for home, Rich. And uh, this is an exciting part of the championship. What are your thoughts on this performance? Two strokes off the lead with nine to go, Luke. They're going to need to put something special together. Always love a new beginning. Here we are at the opening hole of the back nine, the 10th. Par five, 581 yards. Most players will be laying up for their second shots as a large pond on the right-hand side of the green will collect your golf ball if you hit a wayward one going forward in two. An outstanding performer with already five wins under their belt. Getting ready to play their third. Just a couple back from our leader. Good chance to take it even deeper here. This putt's for four under. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. It's on a great line. Oh, so close. Three feet to go here to the hole. And down she goes. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Down here on the 11th, guys. This is uh, Billy Horschel's next one. And this pot is for Birdie.
big chance here so after that hole this is what the leaderboard looks like our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage teeing off here at the 11th par 4 428 yard tree line hole difficult driving hole all the way around but should you find the fairway the second shot on a little plateau just above the fairway is very basic this one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? A good look at a birdie here. This one's dialed in. How did that miss? And that should secure the par. Well done. Now three strokes back after that hole. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Par three plays 208 yards from the back. In saying that, this is a good birdie opportunity as the green is massive in size. You get a share of second if you can make this putt. Got a chance. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And that will take him to four under. I'll tell you what, there's been some great golf being played all over the course. Let's have a look at this. The scientist, Bryson DeChambeau, with a fantastic shot. And after this hole, that's how it looks. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Getting closer to that top spot on the leaderboard. This is getting interesting. We have a par four on this one. Par four, back up the hill, 418 yards, the widest fairway on the golf course. Avoid all those bunkers. Second shot up the hill to a narrow green that slopes off on both sides. Good look here for a second shot. And this was from Billy Horschel from just a little while back. This shot from 120 yards. Just a stroke behind the leader. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Oh, that's a great shot. And sets up a birdie look here at the 13th. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will take him to five under. He's currently tied for first. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. It's time to begin this par four hole. Par four, 357 yards. Almost every player in the field will be giving it a whirl. Knock it on and he could be rewarded with an eagle two. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Oh, that one just missed the hole. And he needs this to save par. Well done. There's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. The finish at TPC Deer Run is full of birdie opportunities and some low scoring to be had, Rich. This 14th hole is certainly part of that lineup. Par four, 456 in length from the back tee. Must find the fairway off the tee shot to have any hope of finding the green in two. Large trees line the right and left hand side of the fairway. to have chosen the seven iron that's just inside the range good chance to move to six under par here hey nice looking line and with that putt now it's six under with a few to play and anything can happen down the stretch let's see 
what takes place. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau. John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Well, looking like around 35 feet to the cup. <laughs> oh, that's a ripper. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. Par 3 only plays 153, but a tricky little green, to say the least. Don't let the beauty of the river to your left swallow you in. This is a tough but fun little par 3. Now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. I'm down here on the 17th, guys. This is Billy Horschel's next shot. That's the right pace. This should drop. Well, that'll help you move up the leaderboard. Okay, let's get back to the action. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. He just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Now two shots up after that one. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? This one should find the rough. Time for the second shot at the 17th. The interesting choice of the driver here. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. Well, that was absolutely met. Great strike. Well, with a pocket full of FedEx Cup points over the last half a dozen starts or so, this player certainly has been delivering consistent results and pushing for wins or winning, Rich. Do you expect that to continue here this week? Luke, absolutely. Week in and week out, this player has consistently performed at the highest level. i got to believe he's a lot of people's favorites to win this tournament. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. If you want to win a TPC Deer Run, you've got to successfully navigate this challenging final hole. Hard to describe the difficulty of this tee shot unless you've actually been here. Par 4, 463 yards. Missed the fairway bunker down the right-hand side, and you've got a clear shot to a very narrow green surrounded by water on the left-hand side. That's really not what we were looking for. Coming off a hat trick of birdies. That's great momentum. Going with the five iron here. Ooh, wouldn't it be nice to chip this in and win the tournament? And this putt for the tournament. Well, this is a tournament that's had so many first-time winners, and this player gets to be John Deere Classic Champ. Yes, they do. Congratulations. What a finish. What a win. The cool thing about this tournament, they get a nice, big, green tractor along with a big, fat check. Happy days. And Rich, I think you mentioned earlier that this player was your favorite. Well picked. Listen, I, it's not a hard pick, is it? This player has consistently been there all season long. There's no reason why not to pick them to win. 
They just make me look smart. That's about it. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvin. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time. Sports so proudly presents this PGA Tour event. Today's coverage of the Royal Championship is about to begin. Hello everyone, Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam and Rich, this FedEx Cup season has been a beauty for this player. Handling it nicely, don't seem to be under any real pressure. No, they've been going along quite smoothly this season. I have to say I'm very impressed. I'm looking forward to seeing them compete in the FedEx Cup playoffs. I know I can't wait. Let's get back down to the coverage. Oh, that is crushed. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this lie? This one is in the first cut, and it's sitting up pretty good. So, I might have a good chance here. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, almost went in. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Oh, nice looking putt. Solid par putt, that. He's currently tied for 13th. You've arrived 
at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Beautiful swing there. Setting up in the first cut. Going with the nine iron, I think. He's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau's effort. Getting ready to play their third. Straight down wind, tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Let's get back to it, shall we? Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Oh, this looks pure. But that's a good putt to hold any day of the week. And let's have another look at that one. Good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. There's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Not a bad line, this one. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Opting for the three wood. Wonderfully played. John, have you got a read on this one? Well, this putt is looking at to be about 23 feet. Looking really good. And down it goes. One under for the round. Not much happening. Moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. This hole is a par three. You can hear the excitement in the air. It's starting to build.
Looks to be going with the five iron. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely affecting that shot. Well, let's catch up with this play just a moment ago. And what about this from Billy Horschel, right out of the top draw. And back to the course with the live action. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Currently one under for the event. Here we are at the fifth hole. The tee is yours. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe... Take a step in the right direction here. That was wonderfully done. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. This looks to be heading to the green. Well, at least it's on the green. That's the positive. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Let's have a look at Jim Furyk. This is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Well, he's he's got about 28 feet to the cup from here. This is from miles away. Steady on. Can make this one. It's for par. Ooh, that looks like a pure strike. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Here we are at the sixth pole. Looks like they've got the five wood. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. This putt is about 15 feet to the hole. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. This looks to be a fair way seeker to me. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and getting rewarded for it. Now this one's from downtown. Make sure you get the pace right. Shame it didn't drop. You'll happily just go ahead and tap that in. Okay, let's head to the next. To the top five he goes. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. And now we go to the ninth. And this happened a moment ago. An absolute beauty by Billy Horschel. Watch this. Well, that was some fancy shot making there. Let's recap it. Oh, that's a cracking good shot, as they say over there in UK. Okay, let's get back to the action. 
time for the second shot at the eighth. Great looking shot this. What an opportunity to make a birdie. The putt drops and that's back to back birdies. And that will take him to three under. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Going with the five wood. Well, this one's right at the pin. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. A chance to move deeper under the card. This putts for four under. Ooh. Just a four footer remaining. That's well hold. And this was Jim Furyk's effort from just a short time ago. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Well, Rich, as we make the turn to the back nine, what are your thoughts so far? Two down, nine to go. I gotta say, I like this player's chances. This lie's not great. Well done. And here we are with the third shot. Only two shots off the pace. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Oh, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? Well, this one looks like about 26 feet. Was well, that a good line? And this one is for bogey.
And that puddle drop. Well done. Now four back after that hole. And after a bogey at the last, they're looking for a big drive on this hole. Sometimes you hit some good ones, sometimes you hit some bad ones. That's the right option. Put it back in play. Getting ready to play their third. Wind back into their grill. They need to flight this one down. Nothing good out to the right. This is a trouble. And not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Well, this would be a good putt to make. You'd move into the top five on the leaderboard. Well, I like the look of this. Always good to lead the bounce back category. That's a good stat. And with that, he'll move to three under par. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. Let's have a look at Jim Furyk playing their fourth shot. <laughs> and after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Managing to chase down the leaders, closing that gap. Got to like it. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. This shot here near the 200-yard marker. Two strokes off the lead. Opting for the five-wood. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Oh, the win wreaks havoc with another golf ball. Straight out of the top drawer. Judging it beautifully. Job done. Let's head to the next. John, give us a small update. Well, I'm down on the 13th. This is Billy Borshaw. And here we are with the third shot. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. And now teeing off on this par four hole. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Second shot here on the 13th. That's some good golf right there. And this putt to move into a tie for second. Just didn't drop. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Currently at three under for the event. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. Well, this should find the short grass. And let's take a look at this shot from just a moment ago. Here's a great shot from our player Countley in second. Third shot now. Let's get back to it, shall we? Second shot here on the 14th. Looks like they've got the five wood. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Getting ready to play their third. Just a couple back from our leader. That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. The honor is yours. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. That's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. John, you're down there. 
How's this ball lying? Well, guys, it's in the first cut, and it's it's kind of like down into it too. So I'm going to need to do uh, a fair bit of work to get out of here. High pressure moment here. This for a share of the lead. Yes, and three holes to go. This is getting to be a nail biter. Get in. And down it goes for an eagle. Ooh, this is getting fun, isn't it? Currently at minus five now for the day. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. Well, Rich, I'm pretty sure this player will be beaming with pride after that eagle. Let's see if they can keep the momentum flowing. Just needs a little bit more of a kick to the right. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Ah, that's a shame. Comes up shy. Can't believe he did that. That drives you bonkers as a player. Nicely hold. And for par. John, you're down there. What's happening? I'm down here on the 17th, guys. This is Billy Horschel's next shot from 29 feet out. Ouch, that hurts. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Just a couple to go. Let's see how you handle the penultimate hole. That dog will hunt. After a very consistent run of play over the last half a dozen starts or so, Rich, this player's coming with a whole heap of confidence, and they look to me to be one of the players to beat. Do you agree? We've seen this player time and time again contend for tournaments, and it is no surprise to see him doing it once again this week. It is so fun watching this player. They're in top form. Yeah, you'll take that. And that makes him tied for first. And this player now tees off on their final hole of the event, tied for the lead. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Second shot here at the 18th. Oh, that should find the bunker. A big moment here if he gets this up and down. He'll win the event. Oh, what a time to chip one in here. Do so, and you'll win the tournament. went in the hole and they'll walk away with a par on this one and with that this player will win the event they ended up tied for first but after a count back they come out on top congratulations luke the victories winning never gets old but this is getting out of hand isn't it another victory on the season Just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.